Hey, welcome everybody. We're almost to the end. This is day 12 of Photopea. And in this assignment, you're going to be taking a famous work of art and you're going to be transforming it, giving it kind of a Christmas feel. So in this particular demo, I'm going to use a piece by the California artist Wayne Tebow. And uh, Wayne Tebow, what he does is he paints cakes, pastries, and things like that. So I'm going to take one of these little cakes and I'm going to make it into uh, maybe like some sort of a Christmassy looking thing. Uh, and so I downloaded some samples of things that I want to include. You're going to need to include a minimum of three different add-ons and you're going to have to figure out a way to make them look like they fit and work with the painting. Okay, so notice this is not a photograph. And so what I'll need to do is I'll need to do some filtering. And we haven't talked much about filtering, uh, but I'll get around to that here in this video. So I've downloaded a snowball. I've downloaded some peppermint. Uh, let's see where the peppermint go. There we go and then also a bow that I'm going to put on top. So I'm kind of thinking that I will have the bow obviously on top of this piece of cake. I'll have a peppermint stick over here, and then I'll have a snowball kind of like, um, you know, all in mode, like it's coming with, uh, not ice cream, but a snowball. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the cake. I'm going to switch over to the cake layer, and I'm going to adjust the colors. So rather than it being chocolate, I'm going to make it kind of like a green sponge cake. And uh, we're gonna be using the color adjustment tool to make that happen. First, I'm gonna grab the lasso tool. I'm gonna use the polygonal one because I have a little, little more control when working on Chromebooks. That's pretty essential, uh, especially if you don't have a mouse. But I'm gonna cut around this portion of the cake and then I'm gonna do a color transformation. Let's see. Okay, next what I'll do is I'm gonna hit Control U and I'll slide that window over and I'm going to hit the colorize box and it should just colorize the portion that I've selected. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I can turn that green like that right there. Maybe that's a little too much. I want it to be looking realistic. There we go. And I'm gonna hit okay and then I'll zoom out. Next, I'm going to grab, let's say the uh, peppermint stick. I'm gonna put the peppermint stick off to the side. Actually, I'm gonna use the wand tool. So I'll tap W three times here in photo P and I'm gonna click that white background, control X. Then I'm gonna hit control D for deselect. I'm gonna grab my tool. I'm gonna to need to turn this. So we do a free transform control Alt T in photo P. I'm gonna then kind of align that with the base of the cake and we're working on that one right there, okay? And I'll just kind of stick it off to the side here. And I'm gonna to have to cut that peppermint stick down a little bit, so I'm gonna zoom in here. Tap Z for zoom. And I'll use the uh, lasso tool again. And what I wanna do is I wanna actually change the opacity of that peppermint stick so I can see where the crust uh, of this cake in front of it is. So I'm gonna go like that. And then I create the full fence, control X, change the opacity back up. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of a shadow underneath that peppermint stick. So again, uh, I'll go new layer beside the garbage can. There's the new layer icon down here. And I'm going to then grab my brush tool. I tap B for brush. And to create the shadow, we're gonna go hardness to 0%. And I'm gonna change the opacity to about there and put a little bit of a shadow right here and like that it's not too bad that's subtle and i will move this layer the shadow layer underneath i'm going to label it shadow and then peppermint there we go and next i'm going to put the bow on top so Actually, you know what, before we go, I'm going to filter this a little bit. I'll talk, about, I'll talk about filtering here in a second. What you can do, make sure you're selecting like the peppermint layer, and then you go filter. Look at the filter and type in filter gallery. You're going to get all sorts of options here. Uh, I'm going to use paint dabs. And as you can see, this is the preview right here. Let me see if I can enlarge that. Usually in Photoshop, you can change this. I can't see it too well, but let's see if I can uh, adjust this and that actually looks pretty good right there. And I'm gonna make it a little bit blurry since we are dealing with oil paint here. I don't want it to be super crisp and I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so what you wanna do within the filter gallery is just kind of like 
you know, try the different filters and see if they work. I'm pretty happy with what Paint Dabs does since this is an oil painting and it's a really thick type of oil painting called impasto. Uh, you're going to have this kind of like blurry look. So I'm happy with that and I'm going to hit OK. And then what I'll do is maybe darken it up just a little bit. Uh, in the previous demo, we talked about levels and I'm going to hit Control L and a screen like this will pop up and then you can adjust these little nodes that are beneath the graph and maybe I want to just darken it up just a, just a tad so it kind of fits with the rest the, the rest of the style of the piece. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out and get that bow. So I hit control zero to zoom out. Next, I'm going to grab the, uh, the actually, let's see the bows down here. Okay. Obviously, I'm going to use wand. I'm going to uh, select the background, hit control X, control D for deselect, and move the bow top of the cake. And then I'm going to distort it so that it fits on top there a little bit better. So let me zoom in. And maybe before that, I'm going to do some feathering to get rid of the white halo. So I'm going to hit W for wand. Okay, and then I've selected the outside of the bow, so I need to select the inverse because I want to select the bow itself. So I'm going to hit Control shift i i is for inverse. Next, I'm going to go Select, I go Modify, and I go down to Feather. Okay, and feathering is going to remove that halo around the edge. And this time maybe I will do... Uh, blue, feathering about five. Let's see what five points will give us. Five. Okay. I can tell already that's going to work much better. Okay. So I cut it and paste it. And uh, next, what I need to do is I'm going to need to filter this one as well. By the way, I'm going to label this one 03. And so I'll go up under uh, filter. I'm going to go filter gallery. I'm going to use try to use the same filter. So we go paint dabs. And um, this time I'm going to back off the sharpness again. I'm going to something like that. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we'll hit OK. Next, I'm going to uh, position this on top. It needs to be just a little bit smaller. So we'll use free transform. like that and almost also i'm going to use a little bit of dis distort so i'll bring this down i'm gonna just to get the bow to sit a little bit better on this like that there we go and then next what i'll do is i'm going to grab the snowball and i'm gonna what I'll do is I will uh, use the wand because it's white, it might pick up. By the way, if you want to select multiple portions, like I just picked up one piece there, hold the shift key and just walk around the snowball and you should be able to get most of it. Okay, so I'm holding the shift key. I'm just click, 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 make your life really easy. Control, and then I'm going to select the inverse and get rid of the hand in the background. So control shift I for inverse, control X for cut. Now I need to... Uh, also filter this out. I'm going to hit Control D for deselect. And uh, to filter it, I'm going to go filter gallery, paint dabs. Actually, let's see, that's totally decent. I'm going to hit OK on that for the filter. And now what I need to do is to piece this together so it's on the back side of the cake. I'm going to change the opacity of it. Now let me just move the thumbnail out here. So on thumbnail, I'm going to do that. I'm going to then change, do a free transform to resize that snowball. So control, T, control, alt T and photo P. And that looks proportionate, right? I don't know if it would actually fit on this plate, but it's good enough. Okay. So next, what I'll need to do is I'll need to go into my picture here and I can still kind of see where the snowball is, but I want to take my polygonal lasso tool and I'm going to then start making some cuts around the edge of all that buttercream. Let's see what I can get. 
get here. There we go. Double click to finish it off. Control X. Let's see where we're at with the opacity. Okay. And uh, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Control D to zoom out. All right. Hang on just a second. Let me get rid of this. Okay. Let's see. We'll go back. Control D. Okay. Deselect. Snowball. Change that in. And then I've got to deal with the top of this cake here. So uh, let's see. Let me take the eyeball off of it. Let me zoom out a little bit so I know what I need to cut. So there's a section right here I need to deal with. I'm going to use that. I'm going to go over to my lasso tool again. Have an L for lasso. Almost done here. Cut that out. And then we'll change the opacity and control D and then I'm going to just slide it back. I don't know how it. I'm on the wrong layer. That's the problem. And I would might go back in and just kind of clean that up. But, but for the most part, there we are. There we go. We've transformed, you know, a, a classic masterpiece into a Christmas theme work of art. Okay, complete with ice cream ball, <laughs> snowball, a bow, and etc. So thanks for joining me, guys. I'll, and the uh, last step of the process here is you're going to take all of the 12 days of Christmas. You're going to compile them into one massive picture. It's called the placemat. And then you're going to submit that for your final. Take care. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays.